One of the first problems you will face after deciding to switch to Linux is finding the right Linux distribution. You ask for recommendations and you get mixed answers that make you even more confused. You try Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Fedora, but you feel like you're still not in the right path. Well, maybe I know what you're missing. Let me introduce you to Endeavor OS. And before you say anything, I know it's based on Arch. Don't get scared. Arch is now considered okay. And yes, even for beginners. Matter of fact, one of the best Linux distributions out there are based on Arch. It's good, as long as you're in manual. Just kidding, just It's much simpler than you might expect. It's based on Arch, but honestly, it doesn't feel like it's because it's more simplified than vanilla Arch. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you five reasons why I use Endeavor OS and why you might want to consider giving it a try. Those are my personal reasons, and if you're using Endeavor as well, let me know about your own reasons why you've chosen this Linux distribution. Reason number one, the installation. Arch is known for how hard it is to install, especially when you're not going to be using the Arch install script. But maybe you just don't want to deal with that. That's why Endeavor OS has the Calamar installer. So it's easier for you to get into the Arch world without any hustle. Even though in the Linux world, hustling is almost necessary. When using that installer, you will feel like you're installing Ubuntu or something. And in less than 10 minutes, you will be done with everything. And no, 5 hours. Oh my god, I remember how painful it was installing Arch for the first time. With the wiki, of course. Yeah, it was an actual hustle. I want you guys in the comments to tell me how long it took you for your first Arch installation. I'm super curious to know. Reason number two, it has access to Pac-Man and DA. Just like I said before, it's based on Arch, so there are gonna be a lot of similarities. In Arch, we have Pac-Man as our package manager, and in Endeavor OS, we have it too. And the lovely community-driven EA is also available, just in case. So if you're really that worried that it's not gonna be as similar to Arch, believe me, it's the same headache in a different color. Arch is Arch, even if you color it in purple and name it in the Vorowitz. Reason number three, roll-in releases. Endeavor OS follows a roll-in release model. This ensures you always have the latest software packages, kernels, and drivers as soon as they are available upstream, without the need for major versions upgrades every few months. This is especially beneficial for users who need access to cutting-edge software or the latest hardware supports. Having the latest and greatest is not always a good thing, but it's a thing in Endeavor OS. Reason Number four, it's bare bones. There is a lot of Linux distributions that make that one single mistake that end up ruining their reputation which is having too much bloat. And me personally, as a Linux user, I like things simple. I want to smell fresh air in my Linux distribution once I install it. And I don't want to have a bloated distro just because the developer thought I would need a couple tools or packages. But Endeavor OS is not one of them. After installing it, you will feel like you just moved to a whole new house. It's empty. It has only the necessary stuff. But everything else, you should deal with it yourself. And the reason behind that is to help you build your own experience around distribution and not the opposites. You customize everything yourself, make everything work the way you want it to, similar to the Arch experience. Reason number five, it doesn't break as much. This one is more like an extra, but I just wanted to add it to my list. Because I use multiple Linux distributions, I keep comparing them all the time. And one of the things I noticed is that my Endeavor OS installation doesn't break as much, while Arch on the other side panicked a million times now since the first time I started using it. It's called be me being the problem and they simply cannot handle Arch. Or maybe Arch cannot handle me, I don't know which way it does work. Or maybe Endeavor is just more stable than Arch. To be honest with you, even though I use Endeavor in my main PC, I still love Arch. And sometimes I just gotta use it and get myself into all kind of headaches, because I'm simply obsessed or maybe because I'm just a problematic person and I love keeping myself inside problem zone I don't know but of course even though I like to keep myself into that problem zone or call it whatever I would like to have my own comfort zone that's why I use Endeavor OS but wait that's impossible did they mention Endeavor OS all this time and didn't include Cache OS what about Cache OS well that one gonna be for a future video leave a like and maybe subscribe see you in the next one